Pixar don't need that much hope, really. But we'll see what, oh, they, yeah. <laughs> what they can bring. This team, void of hope, is unbelievable. And with it, they're scary. Ricks need to make a reverse sweep here. Two maps to close it out. And Nino is going to open it up by taking down Jupy. You've even got a nade out to the left side, completely it's stopping any of those players from retaking the site. And look at this flank coverage out of Nello. This is so well played. She's been sat here for the whole round and completely whiffed. Oh, no. The right click, Nello. You got to trust the right click always. The fact that they actually found the kill. Oh, to Jupy first. And it really is going to find Nora and Sonia as well. Okay, this is looking too easy, I'd say, for, uh, for Tenster. Still, they need oh, to Ricks. kind of to prevent that from happening. Okay, Patch. How's Patch still going? Patch was 18 HP going into that fight. Now the round's lost, but another huge round out of Patch to start yeah. off Haven. I mean, let's hope that continues because on this map especially... Stack on C. Wow. Yeah, the, they're really going all in on that, and it might pay Ooh. off. Patch with the Marshal far Ooh. away, given an opportunity here and still looking to take some scalps. See, the, the benefit here, obviously, she can play in the open with the dash. But now that she's given away her position, they're starting to think they don't want to push up against a Marshall long range. Through C-Long, it's pretty risky. And instead, they're shifting focus to the A site, which, as we've already said, is completely open. Yeah, they were probably just waiting for some kind of aggression coming from Riggs. Didn't happen. Now they have to go slowly onto A because they did not gather the early information. But that tripwire from Nello is going to prevent any push that comes through C. So all the rotations might come from C team. Nello has been so nasty at cutting off these flanks so far. It's a little bit of trouble. I mean, the entire team could just start to focus. I think she probably wants to run away. No, she's running forward, looking for fights, beckoning them in. And, well, that's... That worked out too well. Oh, we all know yeah, the, the, the neural theft is the most valuable yes, ultimate in the yes. game. Yes, <laughs> yes. Tom said it yesterday. It's my favorite ultimate, the, the most oh, OP yes. in the entire game. I just, <laughs> I just love it. Good neural theft. Um, uh, yeah, obviously, and this was going to be an easy run for them. It was very well played, very well paced. And oh, and Patch did not manage to catch that one. Guys already jumped onto short, but she's going to be the only one. Holding that side and preventing the pushes from happening. Oh, yeah, if she uses her fast, I mean, she has to be there. She's not picking, though. And the execution onto C is already happening. Oh, oh. well, that, that was, is again, through the smoke. Rain has been on fire for <gasps> that. We saw it on Ascent as well. Noy is down, though. The flank oh. being cut off over on the A site. Jupy able to grab a double. There's Padge completing that flank cut. On A, and well, I think this is uh, pretty much already decided. Unless Nino's got an absolutely insane play okay. coming out. There's two, and low HP on another opponent. Jupy just 47. This is going to be actually a lot closer than I thought. Only five bullets remaining, though, on Nino. She has to be precise on this Aww. first fight. Padge saves the day. Damn good attempt, though. I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's a good round, and thanks to Nino, obviously, just getting those two late kills. Man Sure, the, the way they did it was a little unconventional, but they managed to get the plant, they get the kills. It, it feels like we don't really see bonus rounds getting shut down. Like, mm. I don't think we've seen a flawless versus it or, or even close to it. There's always like three kills coming in. We're going for this early garage control. A lot of utility coming in from Riggs. And they're going to back away. Look at Nellis positioning here, waiting for some pushes. And oh, Patch. She was going to push. So sneaky. We saw it. The ace on the previous map the with Padge was tucked in a corner. It? Oh, oh they, wow. they don't think she's here. This is huge. Oh, and that's the spike, spike dropped okay. again. How does Padge keep on doing this? A double kill from behind. The information there is to play with. And Ricks even have their flank covered. Kla's trying to sneak on up. But there's the alarm bot activating the nano swarm right after Kla. Dropping a nade to try what? and push Yuppie back, and the last back okay. actually gets her out. She's got the C site now, and a plan can come through. This isn't as terrible a situation as it could have been. Yeah, and they're going to go and plan for a safe uh, post no. and own to see. Oh, God. What? Still in position. Shot down on A. Yeah, Chilling. But, this you is didn't the know. Okay, he got, she got the kill. She also used the, used the Nero theft, and then they could they could work from there, okay? Because it's the most valuable mm -hmm. ult in the game, and she's going to prove it to you. <laughs> oh, no. And what the worst part is, this is going to work out, isn't it? 
Nello sneaking onto the site. Now, it's not quite planted for her, but it doesn't really matter. No one's on it just yet. There's the first, uh, second, not connected initially, but it's found afterwards, leaving Jupy to clutch it all. One versus one. Fault line through, stuns her up, confirms she's not on it. Slicey can now just wait a little bit longer, let the clock run down, and as she gets to halfway, it's like had a couple more seconds on it. Slicey. Might be out for revenge here. The Flash primed and ready. The whole team about to take a swing, but oh it's it's a 5v5 fight. We don't see those too often. Trapped down on middle. These players with pistols are just being ran over. And well, there's nowhere for Noya to go. Still, yeah, two all kills. things considered, decent damage, two kills. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, uh, the, the Ritz, I feel like they've been doing this almost in every single round that they've had this uh, shares, going for the triple push and maybe uh, waiting on the um, on the closest fights. You know, Patch coming out from, from double doors. It, it was, I mean, we've seen some thrifties, don't get me wrong, but I feel like it, it's, it's the best thing that you can do, especially using such a wide map, just maximizing your firepower as much as you can, especially in these rounds. And now since another full buy is coming in, we're looking at the ultimates and we see Sony and Oya and, and Reyna very close to them. And on the other side, Clan Nello are extremely close as well. So this could be one of those rounds that is literally what Valorant said it wouldn't be, all about utility. <laughs> Yeah, I, I did always find it funny, the initial, like... Abilities are not going to kill you? Abilities don't kill, and then Raze has two grenades. <laughs> yeah. It's like... Ooh, and the I don't know. Off, and the satchels, and, and the showstopper, yeah. just in case, you know. I'll say abilities killed me quite a bit at the start, uh, <laughs> in particular Raze. But, yeah, we've, we've ended up in a, what, I, what I actually think is just the perfect spot. The balancing in this game blows my mind. Look, four to one. One minute left on the clock as Tanstar looked to push into B. And look who's tucked up close. Oh, oh, oh. That Cosmic Divide might play perfectly into Noya's hands to flash through, but nothing followed on. And in fact, it looks like Tanstar want to split in towards the A site, and that was a clean fight for Kla. And reinforcing that that ultimate with also the Sage Wall, you guarantee in the, the rest of patches here, I wouldn't be... Okay, never mind. Kla, Kla is back in the game. You know, this is Kla not being on Cypher, being on race. She's just going to keep pushing and being the real duelist for her team. And just really just waiting on the back. This is completely going to be played for post plant. Pretty clean. And again, Nello on the flag. Yeah, not so. Uh, sorry, Nello up behind them once nuts again. Too. Yeah, they yeah, try yeah. To save. Nello's pretty they nuts. can't get out of there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like on this map in particular, I feel like every single round Nello's been behind them. It's it's unreasonable. And shutting them down, okay. even to this second. Another new Three kills. <laughs> Ready to be used and give them oh, the round. Oh, they just need one map. And with a five to one start, you may bet morale's feeling pretty high over in the 10 star camp. Remember, both of these teams, I believe, are playing from boot camp, right? Yes. They're both on land together. Mm -hmm which definitely brings in a whole different element and something that Ricks will be very thankful for having their teammates around them and being able to sort of, I don't know, call a pause, have a group hug maybe. That's that's where I'd be going with it because this is it's looking pretty pretty bad for now. Obviously, this round is just pistols, so we expect them to be rolled over and 10 star dealing with them very efficiently to start with. A little bit risky from Nello. Yeah. I mean, she just wanted to keep going for the kill. The spike is already running towards A, but Kla is on the flank now. You're going to be able to retrieve that Phantom, but probably not for long, apparently. These guys are just deathmatching right now yep. over in 10 star in this anti-eco round. And I, I kind of hate it. For Sonia kills. They legitimately had a player on A site, a player coming up short, a player pushing B, a player pushing garage, and a player pushing C. They mix, but one that they so desperately need. Now the response from Tensor is going to be... They, they've been using this low on every single round, if I'm not in the wrong. Or at least most of them. Mm -hmm. Just yeah, preventing... A bunch of rounds. Yeah, exactly. And it's it's a way of denying, you know, slightly denying the the operator, if it, if you want to take that. And probably knowing that that is something that could happen, especially on this round. But Patch is actually going to be on B. And all the utility from Riggs is going to be set for C. C... Hard, hard retake. Yeah. I, I really like the Killjoy on this map in particular because look at that hold. I mean, yes. it's not just the I fact you'll it. have info that when they push mm -hmm. C, you can stop or maybe even kill them as they go through with your nano swarms for the jet dash and all that sort of stuff. But it's an A play and with two players sat on the site, one player sat on the site. Oh, Sonya, big play, getting the first, dropping the spike, but no follow up on it. And that's a big problem. How do you get back into A now? Three players left alive. And how do you even survive? Look at Nello. Nello's yep. was Again. pushing through garage, was looking to flank them out. But now she's taking it even slower and going to the seaside. 
And Patch here, she has to make a decision and is probably going to be saving this. They do not know how to structure uh, the retake with the utility that they have. They do not have they do not have information of what's going on on the rest of the map. That's why we're seeing them look around and around. Oh, and they're going to go for it. They put a Cosmic Divide down. They, they do have a lockdown to, to play with. Yeah, Nello okay. needs to start moving. Rolling Thunder, though, is going to buy them the time instead. Showstopper's going to be used up. All in all, this Too has already much. been a good trade. The fact that they've managed to just use a Cosmic Divide, which, sorry, Astromains, for the most part is useless compared to the other ultimates in the game. A uh, pretty good yes. trade. Yes, completely. And we um, and Intensor didn't really have the need to use all of that. Even with the with the Cosmic Divide, and the, just the positioning from Nello mm -hmm. should have been enough. But apparently, they were too scared, not knowing what's happening on the other side of the Cosmic Divide. Patch again with the Marshal. Some great things from her. That's a great start for Sonya as well. I, I believe that was through a smoke, taking down Nello, and she only survived on 26 HP. Her being alive at all, though, is Ooh. very important because she has the Rolling Thunder to work with. And Slice needs to get out of there. Yeah, and oh. Klaas just, Klaas just push him because they, they need Slice's utility to get onto sites. Um, there's a, no point in doing it otherwise. And they're gonna go for, you know, a safe plant onto B. No kill your utility found on the site. So they can just play from window. Knowing also the patch is playing with the marshal. Do you think they're gonna use the lockdown? Not right. I where where would you even use it at this point? You know, like you can clear the site, but you know they have so much map control, they're probably not on site. Oh, the steps are heard here as Jupy starts moving to the back side. Lorelia takes that moment to strike. Perfect timing, perfect read. Anoya will be dropped there. No, no follow-up. Jupy's traded out at least. Padge pretty much has to. Uh, it's a oh, two. Smokes. You could probably try fake them out, but there's no time really. And yeah, it's it's done at this point. Okay. She's, oh, she's sending it. Full sending it after them. No time to defuse. Okay. But she gets all the kills anyways. She doesn't no, have that's, time. No, that's not she even doesn't. close. No, 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 she doesn't. Not even close. Yeah, she should start running probably a little bit earlier. Yes. I mean, she she just wanted to try. Why not? I mean, even if they're not getting the rounds, Patch performance today, it's, it's just off the charts. And and especially on, on this round, five more seconds for her, and this would have been the second one for Riggs. But we've seen a 10 star that had has planned for every round, that has executes for every single site of, of this map. We understand why they adore playing this map. Yeah, I think it's safe to say Rix have found a, a generational player there in the form of Padge. At the same time, looking at 10 start, Klaas Rays is something else. Uh, I love that we're already seeing these, these players reach such a high peak. And as we discussed before, the scene in and of itself is not as supported until now. So they, they have got so much more room to grow as well. It's opening duel. What? What? Sorry? Kla? What? what? That was through the smoke, what? right? Is there a, is there a maybe gap? there's a gap on the right side. There I must think there be. Is. There That's has disgusting. to be. There has to be. Otherwise, get out of this server. Just get out. Oh, no. Jupiter I... has a really hard task here. Okay. She finds the first one. Now she has to group up probably with Reyna and just decide what they're going to do. Are they going to save the weapons for the next one? Stenstar already has decided what they're gonna do. They're gonna go for a save one onto A. Probably plays that world, you know, safely. And this is another one that it's gonna go for Tenstar. Yeah, I think from the moment they found a triple opening, yeah. that was uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a safe bet. No, but uh, we see Rick's trying things, but nothing is working. You know, it's not like they're being completely passive and just not being able to retake or. It's literally a little bit of everything. We can understand why Tenstar has decided not to go for a split and actually go for the Saban. Probably it's because of their performance yesterday. I think it was a good yeah. split, but maybe easy to read into when you know that you're gonna have, a, that you're gonna play um, against a team that does a lot of Astra and yada yada. You have a limited amount of microplays that you can make work um, on that map. Yuppie's not really, well, hold on, sorry. Nello has pushed all the way up to site, has avoided, oh god, yeah. avoided the turret completely. Reyna will at least survive with a weapon, but it's a, a small victory. One of the only ones that Ricks have had to hold on to when it comes to this uh, this map so far. 9-1. It's like we've gone full circle at this point, right back to Ascend. Um, I also have to mention that I um, find it it's somewhat concerning the amount of dry picks that we're seeing, considering that they do have a bridge and um, a sky to play around. 
So now they're gonna go for the orb for Patch to play with that ultimate. And also we're gonna see some push coming from Yuppie. Again, doing something different, even when they have only the sheriffs. Yeah. And tents are completely standard, just waiting for the push. They didn't do it the previous one, maybe it's this one. Well, as the time ticks away, Rix seemed to want to create some opportunities on the A site, leaving Padge there alone with the Blade Storm to play with. There's so much work to be done to pull this one back. Mm. They really need to hit three and make sure the pistol doesn't matter that much in the next patch despite being so solid not able to get anything there peeking into four players just spraying her down a bullet each and she's gone yellow's flank watching still coming through wait, uh, wait. Uh, okay. there we go okay kill for reina but it's uh it's little consolation they've also lost their lockdown which would have been so important for getting back into that a site yeah that was literally the one ultimate that that's uh, one of the things that made me concerned about this round the fact that it was dupy uh just pushing and i'm actually surprised that nina decided to use her ultimate there because then now they're going to jump into the last round of their attack maybe she could have found something more useful to do because i don't think that they have any trouble with economy uh so i need to i need to understand that as we head into this last round, this this dominance from Ten Star is something that I probably would have expected in in other map, probably on Bind, something we we did not yeah. see at all. But <laughs> you wouldn't have expected it on Ascent, for example. That was mm. uh, <laughs> that was unexpected. Ah, uh, it's just like we said though. You just got, you got to throw out everything we know. All the stats, they go out the window. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Oh, they've never played an official on it? Doesn't matter. I mean, they did They're, feel really uh, comfortable and, and, and yada yada, but yeah. Yikes. Now she could have nice. used the rest. Yeah, it's, it's those kind of things. I mean, they're also feeling extremely comfortable, I would say. Obviously, you know, going again with double digits to the second half, it's just yeah. too good to not be comfortable. It's a flex. Yeah, and knowing that this is a flex. match yeah. map for you, so. But they've lost the cosmic divide. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, the round's lost. Oh, no, wait. They still have the, the neural theft. Yeah. Winnable. Nello's gonna... Bricks. <gasps> they must have seen the barrel. Sonya's gone as well. What? what? What's going on? Nello I used the neural theft. They, they couldn't even... They couldn't even use the showstopper. Now it's... Oh. No way! It was popped in garage. They oh, ran it to the C site. They killed someone not with the showstopper. Ran in a spawn and killed a player on B. That's an absolutely ridiculous Jesus. way to finish out this half. Jupy all alone still has the lockdown to work with. Haven't seen it used once so far. And oh, probably won't see it used. As she wants to conceal her position and sneak in to try and ha make this one before happen. Look at the timing. <gasps> Nino has completely whiffed the shot, Aww. but it doesn't matter because there were three more players. 11 to one, the most dominant half we've seen so far. Yes. And 10 star could basically win this off a pistol round. Yeah, completely. I wonder if they have any kind of plan prepare for this. And on behalf of, of Riggs, I have to say, it has to be really hard to come from that breeze that was so close for you to get into overtime again and actually um, take the map for yourself because, uh, again, it's a map that they picked. Maybe they did not expect Tenstar to be so prepared for it. Um, and now coming onto this Haven, knowing that it's not only their pick, it's the most played map. They feel extremely comfortable and they're showing it on the server as well. You're trying different stuff. Nothing is working. You cannot, even if when you get the first kill, like here, you, do, you cannot here. find um, uh, the results that you want. You do not know how to read until the rest of the round. Well, there we go. Pistol round of half two kicking off in front of our eyes. And we have to say, 10 star kind of favorites to win this one. Patch made it to the site and took down a kill. Okay, Nino's gone. So too is Nello. Patch is out for vengeance. A 3K in pretty much every pistol round so far. And well, two to start this one out. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, the plan is going to come down. And this is probably going to be for Riggs. It's to finding the kills, but yeah, this uh, fast execute, not on to B, but on to C. It works well when you have a jet that is having the day. It can just open um, with a dash and a smoke and just start killing everyone with also the utility that you have. I mean, you are playing with, as I said, double initiator, a lot of flashes, a lot of pressure to put, especially at the beginning of the round. A round that they needed desperately, and a round that I feel Tensor is not going to be extremely sad to, to lose. No, I, d I don't mm. think anyone's going to be sat there crying like, we're 11-2. Oh, it's done. Uh, giving over a pistol to Rix is, if anything, it's, it's a nice thing to do. We'll see how much more they can do 
to pull this one all the way back it, it is such a difficult thing to to make work the one upside here as we said before it seems like in a lot of those defensive rounds ricks are being caught off guard because mm. 10 star are just so solid man the way that they play this map the way they play any map of valorant so well thought through and it's very difficult to combat now though they're on the Ooh. attack ricks get to set the pace themselves oh, and i was assuming this round was done already i was assuming 10 star on an eco oh, wouldn't what? be able to get anything done but nello has already come in with a kill they've got two kills on the board Page left to 20 hp this is a a little bit ridiculous yet again 10 star seem to be making an impossible round very much possible and slicey here she has How all her finding? utility is she gonna use it though oh my it's all on to Sonya. She's got to clutch out a 1v3. Low HP on a couple of these players, but it doesn't matter. Class oh. swings around the corner, and that has got to be one of the most deflating feelings oh. to win the pistol. Yeah. And as Echo said on the desk, get everybody screaming. Get, get them excited. Get them right back into the game. And then you turn around and lose the second round. Well, now now you feel, you feel pretty bad. I mean, I, I do feel bad. I actually feel bad because this is leaving me kind of cold after what we've seen previous two maps and uh, and also the fact that they lost that round and Clyde again being disgusting with the nade something that we were seeing again and again yesterday and uh, she's just doing it again there is no safe spot for you to be playing and Nello even with the classic just finding the kills it's it shows a lot of how comfortable and, and careless they are right now this could be it Mitch this could be it, could it. Be. Yep. It could be the end. Ricks looking for... Oh, wow. what a shot out of Lorelia to start things off. The Sheriff coming in huge. And that's Jupy down and out. Heal going to come through as well, so the damage doesn't even necessarily matter. And they've got a double flank oh, coming out through C Long. Yeah, yeah. They're completely tearing them apart. And the final two yeah. players are stuck in a corner. A raise nade on its way. Shots ringing out and leaving oh, Noya alone. And in fact, it's the aftershock.